you know, with um, Cardi B, she's done exactly what she should have done. You know, she's just gone full steam ahead and, and you know, you know, c congratulations to her. The only thing with, with Cardi that really, really, really hurt my feelings yeah. was the first interview she did after Motorsport came out. I remember, like, when I first came in the game, um, if a female of that stature had done a feature with me on it, I would only be, you know, singing their praises and, uh, and, and saying thank you. Mm -hmm. The first um, interview she did after Motorsport came out, mm -hmm. it just really hurt me because she looked so aggravated and angry. And, and one, the only thing she kept saying was, oh, I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that verse. I didn't hear that verse. She changed her verse. Like, I was like, what? You know, I remember, I remember when I first did a song with Trina for the first time. That's why to this day I love Trina because she is the first female rapper, I think, that, you know, acknowledged me behind the scenes and said, you know, I want you to, you know, I want you to be on my album. Till this day, you've never heard me speak. You've never heard me speak ill of, of Trina just because of that. That's very important. Um, and so her most recent interview, Cardi, that's when I just came back on Instagram and I saw it. And I felt good. I finally felt like she said something genuinely nice, you know, about me. But um, with motorsport, I kind of felt ambushed. You know, I felt like Quavo at that time was, like Quavo was my baby. I love Quavo. And um, at the time I told, I went on Twitter and I explained how motorsport came about. And, you know, people were saying that I was lying. So I texted um, Quavo and I said, hey, just, you know, could you back me up on this? Because, you know, I don't want people to think I'm lying. What do I have to lie about? And um, he didn't back me up. And, you know, he texted me. He was, he was like, I would, I would go on Twitter and back you up if you were my girl. LOL. And that hurt because he's somebody, like, I love him, you know? And there are certain rappers, you know, who I, who I call my baby. You know, Quavo, Uzi is my baby. You know, you know, Sway Lee is my baby. Mm -hmm. And so Quavo told me, I'm not going to go on Twitter and address that shit, man. Like, if I do an interview, you know, then, I'm, then I'll address it. And I was like, yikes, you know, because I was, it hurt my feelings to know that people would watch me be slaughtered and no, not one person will, will, will step in to say the truth. You know, they will run with that lie because it's, um, can I have some water, please? They'll allow people to run with the lie because it's it's entertaining to play to to make Nikki seem like a bad guy and 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 it's sad. Quavo texted me. I still have the text in my phone. First of all, Quavo came to my studio and played um, Motorsport. He was the only person on Motorsport. I said, "Oh, that's a hit. That's out of here. I want to get on that one." He wanted me to get on a record call for for keeps. She for keeps. I said, no, please, 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 let's do motorsport. He came back after and said, um, you know, well, you know, um, all the guys going to be on motorsport. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, yeah, I figured that. You know, I knew that much because I knew they were working on their group album. And he texted me and he said, is it okay to put Cardi on it? And I still have the text in my phone where I said, yeah, let's do it. And that's the only story I told. You know, I said how exactly how it came about. Mm -hmm. And when it was time to clear the air about that, no one did that. You know, everybody, all of them allowed me to look like I lied. And, you know, even with the scheduling conflict, she's using my hairdresser now. So even he can attest to the fact, Tokyo, he knows that there really was a scheduling conflict. And it was because of him. He's the one that couldn't show up. And I texted him, I said, you know that if I don't show up the day she's shooting, they're going to act like it's, it's because I'm doing it to be mean, you know, with, with, the, with the current Nikki hate train. And he, he wasn't able to come, you know, he, he had something to do, and that's fine. So I had to shoot on another day. They all knew that, especially if you're using my hairdresser now. He can, he can attest to that. And, and you still did interviews, and, and y'all all still jumped around that. And just to paint Nikki as the bad person so that you could play the victim. And um, that really, really hurt me because I really fully supported her. And um, up until this recent interview that she did, I had never 
seen her show me genuine love in an interview. And I could just imagine how many girls wish they could have been on a song with Nicki Minaj. And I mean, I'm not saying it in a cocky way, but like, um, yikes. I'm not saying that in a cocky way. I'm saying it like, the first thing out of your mouth when someone asks you about a Nicki Minaj feature is, she changed her version of it. Excuse me? It's because of the Nicki hate parade that she felt the comfortability to address me in that matter, in that manner.